Well, hey YouTube, I figured I'd just do a quick little update of this 95 C1500 Silverado here. Uh, just a quick little overview. Uh, it's a 5.3 swap out of a 99 Silverado with a 4L60E. Did the homemade harness on LT1Swap.com. It went down the four wire relay. I uh, had the ECU sent off and tuned by, I think it was LS Thunder off eBay. It was like 45 bucks. Uh, just kind of go over my setup here. I got the Dirty Dingo mounts in there. So you can see them in there. I got the little slider mounts in there. They save a lot of time. I love them. Uh, for the fuel lines, I use just some uh, compression fittings and mesh them to my stock ones. Works fine. I did a high flow fuel pump, uh, 255 off highflowfuels.com. The intake is just a cheap little eBay one. Nothing crazy there. Uh, I think this is the original 4.3 up for radiator hose. Not for the steam port. I just had a little line right there, ran over to it, so it's not going through the throttle body. I used a 99 uh, Silverado throttle cable right there. For all the other stuff, it's pretty straightforward. This is my 4.3 radiator. I uh, have an airstyle radiator hose off a of 99 in there. I had to buy you know, new ones of these just because they're a little bit longer. Uh, for the exhaust, running the stock truck manifolds. Uh, for the 95s, it's all TBI stuff. So the only thing I did for the harness and the wiring is I just kind of cut in there and just spliced it all in. Uh, so that's why you've seen all these wires running everywhere. Everything works, but of course it looks ugly. I need to go through the firewall and tidy it up some. And I went in over there to the ECU. Everything runs great. It's just great. Uh, timing's a little off because the ECU is tuned for 308 gears and not the 343s that are in there. Uh, the whole truck stock harness is still in there. I haven't cut nothing out. It is still in there. I kind of show you some spots I tapped in at. I always label everything. So there's my power wire for my keyed ignition. Right there, it came off the distributor. Then there's a white one for my tack right there. That's really the only two down there. That thing I tapped into, the speedometer is right there, the drag module. Uh, the voltmeter worked just fine. The oil pressure, I used a, the stock cinder gauge. I put a, a fitting to convert it over of uh, some gauges that I had. Uh, converted that down, and I went with the Camaro three wire. So two go to the ECU, and then one goes right off to the gauge cluster. That's what you see right there. Wiring's pretty straightforward on the TBIs. Any 88 to 95 should be about the same. Uh, there might be a little bit different between the years and colors and stuff like that. For the most part, it's the easiest swap you can do for an LS. Um, any questions, I guess, just let me know. I was just trying to do a quick video, keep everybody updated on what I was working on. All right, well, you guys have a good one.